Erica, as you said, today would have been Brianna Taylor's 27th birthday. So this is a day that a lot of folks are taking especially to think just about her. We've seen protests all over the country uh, talking about George Floyd, talking about Ahmaud Arbery, all of these folks who have whose cases have brought national attention. But today really is about Breonna Taylor here in Louisville. And they're really just getting started here. I'm going to bring you over. You can see they've got food set up here. They've got water. This is something that we have seen over the last eight or nine days as these protests have gone on, as these folks really trying to make sure that the folks who are out here demanding justice for Breonna Taylor are fed or have water, don't get overheated. We know it's going to be a really warm day today. You can see they're placing a ton of water here. You know, one of the things you may notice is a lot of the people who are out here setting up are women. And we've been told that today is really going to be driven by women in this community who want to see justice for Breonna Taylor. I'm going to take you guys over this way. There's actually been a drawing done placed in the center here of Jefferson Square Park of Breonna Taylor, who at the time of her death was an ER tech. She was working in two different hospitals at the time of her death. She had plans to go to nursing school. She wanted to be a nurse, and her mother and sister have told us many, many times that she wanted to help people. That's what she was all about. She was about helping people and about making sure that they were healthy as you know, this case has gotten a lot of national attention. And one of the things that we have heard over and over and over from these protesters is that they want justice. And for them, what justice looks like is the three officers who were involved in her death being fired from the Louisville Metro Police Department and being charged. And that's something that Mayor Fisher has said is not easy to do. That would take a lot of con contractual issues to, in order to make that happen. But they have said that that's what they want to see. We've seen the officers in Minneapolis being charged and that's something that has not happened here, and that's something that they are continuing to demand. And, you know, it's not just folks who are going to be out here protesting today. We are also seeing calls for people to call Mayor Greg Fisher's office, to call Attorney General Daniel Cameron's office, and demand that these things are done. We've heard that folks are actually sending birthday cards to Attorney General Daniel Cameron and to Mayor Greg Fisher, saying that they want justice for Brianna on what would have been her 27th birthday. We're also seeing calls to put hashtag Brianna on so Brianna Taylor on social media. And, you know, one of the things that we've seen a lot of is folks coming out here and protesting, but folks also taking that protest to social media. Her story has been shared thousands and thousands of times by folks who don't even live here in, in Louisville, but who want to say her name. That's what we've heard over and over again is say her name. You can see they're setting up sunscreen, they're setting up food, anything that they think these folks may need. It's going to be a hot day out here as they're expecting people. This is supposed to go all the way until 8 o'clock, and there are several events scheduled. But this is just kind of the beginning of what we're expecting to see is a long day of folks demanding justice for Breonna Taylor. Erica? Denny, thank you for that. We're going to have much more coverage of the events happening today locally and nationwide coming up in just a few minutes. We also have continuing coverage online right now at WLKY.com and always on our mobile app.